What's up mga kap? It's me, Kap Joey po mga kap. Thank you very much for joining us on our free webinar. On this webinar po mga kap, we're going to discuss the common questions that we always receive in our inbox. How to find employer in Canada. So if you're looking for employer and if you are interested to find employer po mga kap, to support your Canadian dream, then this webinar is for you. I'm going to share some tips to mock up on how to get, where to get the employers, how to get them, how to please them in the interview. These are the discussions that we're going to, to share with you on this free webinar. So if you're ready, let's begin. The first thing is go to the jobbank.gc.ca. I'm going to have a separate video on how to use the jobbank.gc.ca. But for this video, I just want to highlight that this is the most recommended, reliable job bank. This is where you're going to get your Canadian employer for a few reasons. Number one, majority of Canadian employers, they are required to post their job bank so that they can apply for provincial nomination program or for the applying for LMIA. This is one of the requirements of the Canada immigration to the employer so that they can hire a foreign workers. So if you're looking for job opportunities or job employers, then go to the jobbank.gc.ca. That's the official website of the job bank. The second step is to get the right NOC. So on this video, I'm going to share with you on how to get your NOC. So let's begin. So the first thing you need to go to the job bank, go to the career planning, go to the job profile, then on the job title, type the job title that you have. For example, you are an, an ER nurse. So there will be a nursing research nurse. So I'll say emergency nurse. So you will say emergency measure manager, medical assistant. So let's see here, nurse, the room attendant, emergency room attendant, aid, emergency room research, physician, physician, emergency nurse. So now you get your emergency nurse position. So now we, let's click this one and click search. You will see here, this is your NOC code. NOC 313001. The 31301, that's your NOC code as an emergency nurse. Now you need to read this. The keynote here, you need to have 90%. You need to meet the description and then the job responsibilities. I'm going to do uh, the job duties. 90% of the job duties, uh, you need to meet this one. Now, the second step is since you know your NOC code, which is this one, 31301, then we will go to the NOC website and try type search NOC code. So here you go. This is your NOC code. This is the more detailed um, job bank or NOC code. So now, here you will see 31, 31301 registered nurses. You will see the example title. But what I want you to remember, Pumakap, is to get the category level. So this one, Pumakap, is category one or tier one. So you see here tier one. And it's also to remember, Pumakap, uh, just a pro tip the second digit of the NOC code for 2021 because of the different NOC code. For 2021 version, the second digit is the tier category. So this one to mock up is 31301. This is the NOC code for nurses. And then your tier code or tier category level is number one. Here you go. One, one. All right. Let's try again. Let's go again to the job bank. Go to the job bank. Go to the job profile and then type your position. Let's say, for example, you're a web developer. Web developer. Web developer. 
So from this one, as I mentioned, Pumakap, the second digit is the category level. So this one, I can say this is a tier one. Okay. Again, let's go here. You will see all the job descriptions, the job duties, and the other title. So the keynote, again, 90%, you need to meet the job duties. Let's go to the more detailed. So again, the NOC code for this one is 21234. Two, Copy face. Then let's go here, search for NOC code. Here you go, web developers and programmer search. You will see here 21234 web developer tier category one. Okay, this is the example titles. This is the main duties. Okay, so this is how you find your NOC. So another one, Pumakap. Let's try another one. Let's go to the job bank again. Go to the career, career, pl career planning. Go to the job profile. Let's say um, food counter attendant or cashier. <clears throat> so you will see here cashier, cashier hotel, wrapper, casino, supermarket, customer service, uh, currency exchange. So let's say, for example, you say hotel cashier. So you will see there 65,100. That's the NOC. Again, the category, the tier category is five. Okay. So now you will see cashier, operation, cash register, optical, price scanner. So that's the job description. So you will see here. Then let's go to the NOC. Go to the search by NOC, then type cashier, search. You will see here, these are the index title or the other titles. So some of you, Pumaka, they are 65100 NOC, but they are called casino cashier. Possible convenience store cashier, right? So this is the other titles. Now, let's see Pumaka the tier category so the tier category is number six sales service occupation or sorry a tier five occupation usually require short term so this is the tier category five so five all right so that's how you find the category uh the tier category of your noc and that's how you find the right noc the third step, Pumakap, is to explore provincial nomination program. My suggestion to you is to visit the different websites of each provinces of Canada, explore the provincial nomination program. On this note, Pumakap, getting the right NOC is very important because some program in a nomination program, Pumakap, they have a specific NOC that are eligible to, pro to the program. I'll give you an example, Pumakap, the Nova Scotia Provincial Nomination, Pumakap. So I'm going to give you an example, Nova Scotia, because Community Canada is based here in Nova Scotia. Our office, Pumakap, is 1083 Bedford Highway. We're located here in Nova Scotia. Majority of our successful clients are able to land here as a permanent resident through this program so go to the immigrate here go to the occupation in demand pumakap and you will see here pumakap that occupation in demand is target specific tier category three four and five so it means pumakap this occupation in demand is only for category tier three four and five however pumakap there's a specific list of possession. So just imagine this, Pumaka. If you don't know the NOC, you cannot understand what they're looking for. So again, you need to be eligible to this program. To be eligible, you need to have a full-time permanent job offer under this NOC, Pumaka. That's why the second step is to get the right NOC. For example, you're able to check your job NOC is 65310 or light duty cleaner, then you are qualified to this program. You need to check again the other requirements. Do you have a one-year work experience? 
Are you between 21 to 55 years old? Are you high school diploma? Do you have appropriate training? Do you have a language test at CLB4? And show financial successfully settled in Nova Scotia. That's the eligibility program for NO, uh, for occupation in demand. So this is an example, Pumaka, one of the examples of provincial nomination program. Each province is here in Canada, Pumaka, they have their own program. For Nova Scotia, this is their own program. In Nova Scotia, they have been called NSPNP OID or Nova Scotia Provincial Nomination Program Occupation and Demand. On this program, it's very clear, Pumaka, that the Nova Scotia Provincial Nomination Program OID or Occupation and Demand it says here the eligibility to apply, you must have a full-time job offer from Nova Scotia employer in either, either you are a nurse, food beverage server, food counter attendant, light duty cleaner, transport truck driver, heavy equipment operators, construction trade helpers, and laborer. And the next question is, do you have a one-year work experience? So probably you're asking, Cap, I don't have this experience. I don't know what is uh, food, beverage, and servers, but I'm willing to be trained. Can I apply to this program? The answer is no. It's very clear, Pumaka, that you need to have a job offer from a Nova Scotia employer and uh, from the following list. So it's either you're applying, if, if, if the employer is giving you a job offer under food and beverage servers, it's very clear also it says that you need to have at least one year experience related to the job so even you got a job offer from a nova scotia employer let's say heavy equipment operators this employer provided you a job offer however you don't have a one-year work related experience then you cannot apply to this program another common question that we get cap i have a job offer from a nova scotia employer for light duty cleaners I have a one-year experience, but I'm 65 years old. Can I apply for this program? The answer is no, because the program it says you need to have, you need to be, you need to apply between 21 years old to 55 years old. So if you are 65, you cannot apply. The bottom line, Pumaka, if the if you are not eligible to the program, then you cannot apply. Cap. What if I'm not eligible to this program? Is there other program that is Ill, that is available in Canada? The answer is yes. There is 80 plus programs all over Canada uh, that you can explore. You need to explore the different provinces, Pumaka, because each province here in Canada, they have their own program. So what I want to highlight, Pumaka, if you want to learn more and you want to ask for our assistance, our team is waiting for you. You can talk to our onboarding specialist by clicking the link right now. There's a form that you need to fill up. And at the same time, Pumaka, you will be able to talk to our onboarding specialist. So we have an online form. Fill up the, fill up the online form, Pumaka. And after filling up the form, it will go to our calendar, wherein you will have an opportunity to talk to our onboarding specialist. Our onboarding specialist, Pumaka, will share with you our job positions available. So if we have job positions available, Pumaka, right in then they will tell you that, hey, you are eligible, you can apply for this, submit your resume. Or if you're not eligible, Pumaka, to our employers, they will straightforward say, hey, you, don't you, are not you are not eligible to our employer, but there's other program waiting for you. So if you are interested to do that, Pumaka, I want you to click the link right now and talk to our onboarding specialist. We're, we're here, Pumaka, to help you and to save time and effort in finding your employer here in Canada.